the path of life. What will I see, y'all? Walking down the path of life. Walking down the path of life. Yo, walking down the path of life. What will I be, y'all? Walking down the path of life. What will I see, y'all? Yo, walking down the path of life. Walking down the path of life. Yeah, yeah. Brothers in that game walking down the path of life, man. Whether you hustling, pimping, gangster, or you know, thugging, whatever you're doing, man. You know, each road lead to something, man. Be aware of that, you know what I'm saying? What kind of men have we become? Are we the kind of men that don't know how to give the same kind of love that we got from our mothers? Have we forgotten? What kind of men have we become? Are we the kind of men who are so infatuated with toys such as cars and playing games that we do not take life serious? What kind of men have we become? Are we the kind of men that moves in adolescent ways where we need someone else to take care of our basic needs? Cook our food, wash our clothes, help us look like a man? What kind of man are we? What kind of man have we become? Are we the kind of men that are a bad example to our daughters so that she goes out and picks a bum just like you? What kind of men have we become? Are we the kind of men that are so weak that our sons don't know how to be a man? What kind of men have we become? Are we the kind of men that shirks responsibility, throw our hands up in the air, and act as if we know nothing so that no one asks us to do anything? Have we become that kind of man? Alright, but make sure you come to that, alright? Alright, go. That's what's up. Thank you. Spread the word for me. As a counselor, some of my clients won't come into the office. So I have to bring the counselor to where they are. And sometimes it's the street corner. So yo, man, you think they're gonna come? I don't think these old guys gonna come, man. They never gonna miss the older guys like me. Why not? Older guys like us, we don't ever see things changing for us. We fucked up. You can't tell me these kids don't want something better. Yo, Mo, let's take this one. Keep trying. We might save one. Tell me finish handing out these flyers, all right, man? One is better than none. We could get a few of these kids and tell them.
Jersey State lawmakers plan to introduce a bill to remove a local prosecutor some cases involving a death caused by a police officer. Assemblywoman Sheila Oliver says her proposal calls for the state attorney general to take charge in such cases. The idea comes after cases in Ferguson, Missouri, and New York City, in which prosecutors failed to win indictments of officers in connection with the deaths of unarmed black citizens. I would like to know how long does the GED process take? Um, if you have some time right now, I can register you and we talk about the process. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, you can tell me the manual is here? Oh, uh, yes, he is. Can I have you sign right here? You're not here? No, can I have you sign right here? Well, he ain't never told me I had to sign no papers. Well, excuse can, you, well, can you just go get him, please? Okay, sir, excuse me. That is not the tone. That is unprofessional. I understand that. Can I tell him who's coming? It's Marcus. Marcus, just one moment, please. Mm -hmm. Well, this young man came in and, and she he wants to meet you. not here and I just got off the phone oh. with you like, I know you're here. No, excuse me. I didn't say you. he wasn't here. If you took your earphones off, you would hear clearly. What I said was, sign here. Okay, Marcus, come over here. Let me speak to you for a minute. Well, I'll take care of this. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. How long have I been your counselor? Like a year, a year now, right? And what have I been telling you? Always listen before I speak. Okay, so you can't be listening if you got earphones on. Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Look, man, I know you ain't mean to disrespect her, but that's somebody's mother over there. So you got to apologize, all right? I, I really got to apologize. Yeah, man, I'm going to walk over there with you. You don't want nobody disrespecting your mother, right? Nah, you're right. You're right. I know you're a good guy. Come on, man. I'm going to walk over with you. Excuse me. Miss Miss Elaine, mm -hmm. I, I'd like to apologize for how I, was, how I treated you. Mm -hmm. I would never want no one to treat any of my female family members like that. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you. I accept your apology. What's up, man? How you? Cool. Like he was getting it in. Little something, little <laughs> something. So little dude was mad because he thought the secretary said I wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, these young kids act like somebody owes them something. It's a sense of entitlement, you know what I mean? You know, but they didn't have their fathers growing up, you know? That's kind of an excuse. We didn't have our fathers growing up. We did not go around acting like the world owed us anything, but all these young cats out here do that. That's because we had structure to operate off of, you know what I'm saying? But these young cats scare me. You know, man, I don't want to have to fuck one of them up and fuck up everything that I worked so hard for. We came a long way, baby. We was headed in the wrong direction. My mother's brothers, they were my example of men but they were all drug addicts. Your brothers ran the block, and then they brought you in. Man, they could have showed us something different. Sports, anything. Man, when we was younger, I used to really dream about being a detective. <laughs> it's funny, right, I know. Picture me being a detective. Nah, it ain't that funny, though, man. What? I got into the streets. Man, I messed all that up. We might be able to deter some of these young boys from even wanting to taste the streets. And if there's anything that I can do to help you, you can count me in. That's what's up. That's what is the unity in our community and safety. Yes. I mean, all these boys grow up to be men. Hi, Miss Elaine. Mr. Manny was there? Hi, Marcus. How are you doing today? Fine, fine. Good. Oh, it's going great. How's everything going with you? Great. 
Well, he's in. He was expecting you this morning. Oh. So, you decide where you want to go to college yet? No, not yet, but I never, I never did have no few choices. That's what's up, man. You know, I'm really proud of you. Uh, you know, a lot of young guys don't go to college. No, I'm trying to be trying to be different from a lot of these young guys. You are different, man. I like that, Marcus. Be different. In the news, police in Newark, New Jersey, are investigating the senseless murder of yet another young black male. Shaquem Peppers was gunned down in the wee hours of the morning on 6th Avenue and 14th Street, just feet from his home. Police have no suspects at this time. Local community leaders are calling for more black men to get involved in the lives of young black males. What kind of men have we become? Have we become the kind of men who are afraid to discipline our children, even if it means saving their own lives? What kind of men have we become? Have we become the kind of men who run from education, who do not feel that it is important to be intelligent? What kind of men have we become? Have we become the kind of men who wear our pants so low, showing our ass to our own mothers, our own daughters and grandmothers? Are we the kind of men that say, my word is my bond and it means nothing? Are we the kind of men that lack so much integrity that anything is acceptable? What kind of men have we become? This is he. Well, good evening, officer. How can I help you? Okay. Okay, okay yeah. Okay. Okay, so um, what should I do? All right. Okay. Well, thank you very much, officer. I'm on my way. On this one, I'm talking to like the preachers, the teachers, the demons, the people that's in control politically to make us and help us to understand why we suffering, yo. Yo, help us understand, help us understand, help us understand, please help us understand, help us understand, help us understand, help us understand, please help us understand, somebody help us understand why we struggle. It's fucked up, our niggas in the hood just suffer. I still feel life as a hustle, and so. Sorry that happened to you, man, but uh, the most important thing to remember is that you're not hurt. Yeah, but they took my phone and my beats, man. Well, this happened to a lot of young people and older people who be walking around trying to listen to their music so loud, trying to block out the world. 
that you forget to look around you, man, to see what's going on. You know, it's a lot of bad people out here. So what happened, man? Did you have those earphones on? Yeah. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. You know, sometimes your mom and my dad. You know, that's what that's what my grandma's be saying too. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Hey, watch your head. All right, look. I'm gonna use the bathroom. All right. I'll be right back out. All right. Thought you would have like a nicer, a little bit more upscale place. I ain't trying, I ain't trying to dish you in there, but just saying. Like, you, you know what I'm trying to say, right? Like, <laughs> I think I know what you're trying to say. So tell me, what do you see though? Now don't look at all this right here. No, I left that there, I was cooking before I came to get you, so. But. You know, I know that's why you probably think my place is a mess, but I had to leave out when I had to come get you. I couldn't finish cooking first. I was worried about you. But but but, but what you see though? Yeah, I mean, I've been seeing you in the fly little suits and all that. <laughs> nice little get ups, all cheesy, having fun and all cheesy. that. So I just thought like, start like you just be having having a nice place to go with the nice outfits and all that. Yeah, I'm just. Well, I appreciate that, man. Uh... And I hope what you see, other people see, but to tell you the truth, you know, I don't really have much, you know, I just make it look like it's, it's more than what I really got. I no, I just be thinking like, what, you, you got it all. Got, you got a nice place, nice car, having fun, flashy suits. That's what I'll be saying. Just a good time, enjoying a good life. <laughs> I <Wow>. wish. <laughs> That's how it appeared to young people. It always looked like older people got everything they want. They could do everything. They got cars and all of this stuff. But that's only because we worked that long to get that. And young people see it and they want it immediately, but you might not get it until you're my age. But it's okay, though. If you get started now, you don't got to be an old head like me playing catch up. You know what I mean? Like, you get ready to go to college, you're about to change your life. So, you know, what you think you see me having, a good life, good living, you're going to have that in your 20s because you're going to college. The only reason I started this lady is because I was a rockhead in the streets. That's why I push young boys to go to college, to change your life, to be better. You know what I mean? Yeah, because 
nobody was uh, giving me no advice, and um, it just hurt me to see young boys going in the wrong direction. That's why I'm a counselor. I see what you're saying. I'm going to get this uh, Walkman for you and these earphones, because I don't want your grandmother to worry about you. But we're going to get you home. And uh, I appreciate the compliment, though. I'm glad you think I got it going on. You know what I mean? I hope everybody else see that, too. Hold on. Stay right there. I'm going to get this for you. Alright, ain't much, but you can have this. I don't want you wearing them if you can't hear what's going on around you, alright, man? Alright, thank it's you. It's important, man. So come on, let's get you out of here, man. Let's get you right over to your house. Mm -hmm. You know, when you listen to your music next time, man, you gotta leave one ear off or something, man, so you can hear. What kind of men have we become? Have we become the kind of men that don't want our children to outlive us? Are we the kind of men that don't want our children to fare better in life than we did? What kind of men have we become? Are we the lazy men that society says we are? Are we deadbeat dads? Are we women beaters? Are we not protectors of our families? Are we not providers? What kind of men have we become? We have become the kind of men who have been strengthened and tempered over time. We are father figures, even if we do not have children. We are the carriers of heritage and the builders of legacy. That's what kind of men we have become. That's what kind of men we are. I'm a community activist and a counselor. I counsel young guys and I counsel older guys too. So thank you for coming out today, my brothers. And I'm glad that y'all here because I'm gonna need y'all help. So this is where the robbery took place. And this is our community, gentlemen, and we cannot continue to allow this to happen. This guy was robbed right here, but he did nothing to no one. So this area right here is a dangerous situation, as you can see. I don't have children of my own, like many of you, but, that doesn't mean that we can't be a father figure to the youngest people in our lives, show them a good example so that they can grow up. And I'm sure you want your daughter to feel safe, don't you, my brother? Either yes, we sir. do it now or it doesn't get done. We have older men running around with their behinds hanging out of their pants. Show your sons what a good man is. We don't want our sons going to jail. We don't want them thinking that committing crimes is all right. But today, if we come together as men, and we don't have to visit them in the hospital or the prison. We can save some of our children and we can make it so that our sons, they're not continuously shot by the police. Y'all see what's going on right now and it's on the news. Ferguson, Missouri. And then these kids are acting out and they turn around and they're killing police. It becomes some kind of civil war. You don't have to save everybody. That's not what I'm asking you to do. You can save your son. Now, if you believe in what I'm saying, I want you to join the cause today, inform your sons, robbing other people and taking their belongings is not right. I'm asking each one of you to step out of your comfort zone and become involved, be active and be informed. It allows people to respect us because we're involved and we're visible. I look forward to working with you. Around the sky, blocking sunshine, laying low for one time. Things was all cool and once fine, but rain must fall. And when you do, the game is changed, Paul. Unless the rifle take your brain off, sustaining your call. Now your girl got to run off, explaining to mom. Cause you viewed the game sideways, decided to blaze at the dawn. Now you just a tat on the arm of your ex girl. Memorize this math I write to inspect worlds. Walking down the path of life. 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 Yo, walking down the path of life. Walking down the path of life. Yo, walking down the path of life. Walking down the path of life. Yeah, yeah, yo. One thing I gotta say right now, man, is all my brothers in that game walking down the path of life, man. Whether you hustling, pimping, gangster. 
uh, you know, thugging, whatever you're doing, man. You know, e each road lead to something, man. And be aware of that, you know what I'm saying? And all my niggas in prison, man, develop a vision, man. So when y'all come home, man, y'all can do something with y'all man. Because I did.